Hey everyone, this is some nerdy guy back again with another video. And today's video is a big old honkin' limited run games pickup video. This is all the stuff I've been accumulating from limited run over the past couple of months. Uh, I want to say at least four months, maybe. Maybe a little less than that. Three months? It's been at least a couple months. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm just going to get right into it. I was waiting for the last thing. Like, I, sh I say last, but there's a bunch of stuff that just still hasn't been made yet. But I kept uh, getting, like, a steadily influx of notifications saying, hey, this one's on the way. Hey, this one's on the way, like, throughout the months. And uh, this was the last one. Uh, and I was like, oh, this is a pretty big one. So I'll just wait for this one to come in, and then that's when I'll do my video. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to start with the envelopes first, and then I'll do these two, and then the big one. So, and I'll be honest, I I know what games are in here, obviously, because I ordered them, but I can't remember in what order they're in, so it'll be kind of a surprise for everybody, <laughs> including myself. Okay, Switch game. Oh, okay, this one is more one of the more recent ones. Um, oh, that's a really cool card. Uh, hopefully that didn't, I didn't just give it away, but... Um, Here's the card. It looks like the original cover for Mega Man, the first Mega Man game on the NES. Uh, and the game is Cat Girl Without Salad. And honestly, I just... It was a Switch game, just added to the collection kind of thing. I mean, the gameplay looks okay. It's like RPG-esque. Uh, it's made by Way Forward. That was another kind of like indicator of like, oh, maybe I'll want this. Maybe I'll give it a shot. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Art style looks kind of quirky, goofy, very anime. So I think it mixes like a bunch of different genres. Like it's a RPG, but it's also got like shoot 'em up elements to it, stuff like that. So there is that one. That is the first one. And I think one of these has two games in it. Or no, it's a game and a soundtrack, I'm pretty sure. If I remember right. Oh, nice. I think I just cut the card. The card was sitting on the top, like right here, and I went... I think I just cut it. But, um, hopefully I didn't, because this is actually one of the cooler games. Okay, cool. I did not cut it. Uh, but that is Dawn of the Monsters. This game looks super, super cool. Sorry that there's a glare. I usually have just, like, natural lighting to kind of help me, but it's getting dark earlier so it's kind of not <laughs> working out in my favor but um sorry yeah the glare but yeah dawn of the monsters looks really cool it's like a kaiju fighting game um there's another game like this and i think it's just rise of the monsters is that what it is i know there's one on ps2 and there's a couple other ones but this is like in that same vein uh, and then there's another one that they, it's called like Override or something like that. Uh, they put like Ultraman in it as a guest character, or I think that's what it's called, Override or something like that. But um, yeah, this game looks really cool. I really wish I would have got the collector's edition for this one because it came with. So in Japan, they have a bunch of, um, of course, like Godzilla and kaiju member memorabilia, and one of the most popular things are these like little squishy rubber toys they're like little chibi versions of them and they had an entire line of the main characters of this game in that style uh little rubber figurines but that's all right just getting the the game by itself is just good enough and then here's the card the card looks really cool man that glare is just killing me there we go it's focused focusing heck yeah I don't know what it's... Oh, it's just glaring onto the camera itself. I was going to say, I'm like, I turn my TV off and everything. It shouldn't have that much glare. But it's glaring off of this right here because it produces light. Wow. I'm also a scientist. No. <laughs> um, okay, this... Okay, no, this is two games. I thought it was a game and a soundtrack, but it is just two games, and they are both distro games, so they don't have... Um, trading cards with them uh this first one is one of a series that i've tried to jump into and um like collecting wise i got 
I think I have all the releases they've made so far, and I've played a little bit of it. It plays a lot like Fire Emblem, and if that doesn't give it away, it's uh, Mercenaries Blaze. Uh, this, these Mercenaries games are a lot like Fire Emblem, strategy RPGs. Uh, there's at least three or four of them that are on the Switch, and I think there's they originally were on 3DS, if I remember right. Um, I've seen some of them on 3DS. But there is that. Mercenaries Blaze. And then the other game uh, is one I'm... You'll guess why I, I chose to get this one. <laughs> uh, but it is called uh, Yumatsetsu. I think it's Yuma... Yeah, Yumatsutsu. Remaster and Reafter. Anime girls, baby. <laughs> you know? Um, but no, a lot of these games are super popular. Um, a lot of collectability there. Um, just kind of... Uh, I don't know what else really to say with that. Because you're like, oh, you're, you're supposed to get games you want to play. I mean, I do like visual novels. I just know a lot of these ones um, are good to have in your collection. You know, if you decide you want to trade stuff or to get other things you want and things like that. Um I don't know. It looks like an interesting enough game. Maybe not exactly up my alley cuz I mean, some of the visual novel stuff is okay, but when it leans too far into like the dating sim thing, I kind of lose interest, but uh I don't know. It piqued my interest enough that I wanted to give it a try. So there is that one. And then we'll do this. First box, little box. Hopefully this isn't the one that just came in cuz I want to open this new one first, or the old one first. Okay, this is the new one. Dang it. <laughs> okay, this is the one that just dropped yesterday. Excuse me, just dropped here yesterday. And the big box came here today. Uh, that's all right. It is, I didn't realize that this was a Chemco game. So hopefully it is actually decent because a lot of these Chemco games are kind of lackluster. I like the style, just like having older 8-bit 8 8-bit 8 RPGs like in that style it's just kind of cool to have in my opinion but some of them are very uh they kind of fall flat but this one looked interesting enough and it came with a soundtrack and that is uh RPG Golf Legends and I feel like this is just to cash in on Golf Story because Golf Story did so well uh I'm assuming that is the exact reason they made this but uh, here is the soundtrack as well, and I'm always a sucker for video game soundtracks, so I will, if there is one included, I will always go after it 90% of the time. So, there is that. We got RPG Legends. It doesn't look like a bad game. It, it looks a lot like Golf Story, I won't deny that, but, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to see because of the glare. Just love it. You can kind of see the screenshots there. I don't know. Looks like it might be a fun time. And then the next little box. I know you're not supposed to cut towards yourself. I just don't care. Uh, oh, it's another one with a soundtrack. Okay, so this one is two games, and the one game comes with a soundtrack. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we got... This one I've been waiting a long, long time for. That's Monster Sanctuary. Uh, I really enjoy a lot of these like Pokemon clone games. Even though it's not exactly what this is, it doesn't really play from what it looks like. does not play like Pokemon from what I've seen. Because um, the gameplay style looks a lot more like Terraria in a way. You can kind of see the screenshots without the glare. It's like a 2D side scroll kind of uh, at least like how you traverse the land and stuff it's not over top view like Pokemon is so yeah Monster Sanctuary and then this other one I was excited for it's also another Chemco game but that's all right because I mean if I didn't like it then it's, why would I buy it you know what I'm saying but uh, these two also came with cards I didn't realize these came with cards nice uh, but this one is, uh, Black, Blacksmith of the Sand Kingdom. I, I was going to say and the Sand Kingdom, but it's Blacksmith of the Sand Kingdom. 
this one looks pretty decent. I can say so. And I usually, if I do get the Chemco ones, I've been, I used to get the PlayStation ones, the PS4 ones all the time, but now they started doing some of them on the Switch and I'm just like, I'll just wait for them to do them on Switch or they'll do a collection. So that way, instead of paying 30 bucks or 35 bucks for one on the PlayStation, I'll just wait till they do a collection and get like four of them together for the same price. So yeah, but I don't know. I liked the art style. I liked this little cat bunny whatever the heck he is he cute little guy i like him <laughs> uh but then there's the soundtrack that comes with that man i really hate the player that's super irritating but uh yeah there's the soundtrack always love my cd soundtracks uh and then here are the two trading cards so there's the blacksmith one there and then the Monster Sanctuary one, which got like has a cool fire lion on it. I dig that. Okay. So, yeah, lots of Switch stuff. No PlayStation, which I primarily collect for the Switch. So, uh, as far as modern consoles go. But, um, uh, I don't know. Yeah, so, like, if, I, if there's a Switch version, which 90% of the time there is, that's the one I go after. But some of them they'll only put on PlayStation, and if it's a game I have enough interest in, I'll definitely go after it. Um, and they started doing PS5 a lot too, which is pretty cool, because I, I do have a PlayStation 5, so um, it's nice to be able to get the current Gen 1s instead of having to get PS4. But um, anyway, without further, further ado, we have the big box, and it has some some weight to it, so I know what it is, but I'm, I'm curious to see how it came out how the box looks and everything and there's actually two things in here because i've got a standard and then i got the collector's edition um because they i thought they were different games but maybe they're not different games maybe it's the same game i don't know uh, but if i show the one you'll know exactly what the other is so i'm just going to show the standard one and that is Super Meat Boy for the Switch. I, I was super excited when they announced this for the Switch. I remember back in the day when this was announced for like the Xbox 360. I think it was exclusive to the 360 at the time and PC probably. But um, I don't know. This game was a big deal. Everybody was playing it. Everybody was raging out because it's such a hard game. Uh and I just love the artwork, how it's like all hyper-realistic and he looks all badass and buff and everything like that. And then this is what he actually looks like. <laughs> it's funny. I like that. So there is Super Meat Boy. And of course, that means that the big box in here, if I can get it out, is... Super Meat Boy Forever for the Switch. Now, see, it's I think they're different because they did a separate collector's edition. I think is the one where it's in like it looks like it's a pack of meat from the grocery store. It's like in a styrofoam tray. I think that's the collector's edition they had going for this. And then Super Meat Boy Forever. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just like added on stuff to this one. Maybe I don't know. Uh, somebody can correct me. Because I don't know if they ever did make a sequel. I don't I don't really know. I'm not super uh, knowledgeable about Super Meat Boy and his legacy. So, <laughs> But that, there's the box. And it's a heavy box. So uh, whatever other collectible... I know there's like a... I thought there was a plushie. Maybe it's a figurine of Super Meat Boy himself. And of course, all the bells and whistles, your soundtrack, your probably like art book stuff. It, it, it's kind of like annoying whenever stuff takes this long to get here because you kind of forget like what all this if you get a collector's edition kind of forget what all comes in it and of course you can look it up but like if you're not doing that at the time if you don't take the time to do that you're like man what was it that came in here i don't even remember but i ordered it so it must have been cool <laughs> so uh yeah there is that and uh oh yeah there's trading card i'm kind of surprised that uh I didn't get two trading cards with this because it's technically two separate games. So I thought I would have gotten two trading cards, but it does not look that way. 
unless if it's like hiding underneath the flaps of the cardboard box. I don't think so though. That's all right. I'm not really too pressed about it. At least I got the games, but yeah, that is everything. Sorry, I'm trying to clean up a little bit. So quick little recap. We got the collector's edition, Super Meat Boy forever. Then we have regular Super Meat Boy on the Switch. Blacksmith of the Sand Kingdom with the soundtrack. We have Monster Sanctuary. And I forgot to get the card there for the Blacksmith game. We have RPG Golf Legends. Yumamutsu, is pretty sure is how you pronounce it. Yuma, Yumitsutsu Sound Remaster Reafter, that one. <laughs> Mercenaries Blaze, Dawn of the Monsters. I think this is the first one I'm going to play. This one just looks really, really fun. Dawn of the Monsters. And then Cat Girl Without Salad. Uh, what is that? Amuse Boucher? Is that how you say that? Yeah. Looks like a cool game. Nice little haul. Nice little bit to keep adding to the Switch collection. It's getting really out of hand. <laughs> uh, it's just so easy to collect for the Switch, in my opinion. I mean, there's tons of retro consoles that are fun to collect for and that are easy to collect for. But it, I don't know. I'm having fun collecting for the Switch. Um, I'm trying to think about what retro console I want to heavily get into. I don't think I'll ever get a complete set. I'm not really into that whole thing because you have to buy all the crap games. And I'm... There's some crap games that I do like, but there's not enough where I want to have a complete set of a console. But there are definitely a couple that I have in mind that I want to, like, get more heavily into collecting for them. And maybe, like, slowing down the limited run stuff and then focus more on some of the retro stuff uh, is kind of what I would like to do. Just be more choosy with what I get from limited run. But um, we'll see what happens in the new year because, you know, it's December ending the year off. And everything so yeah um i have another pickups video planned i did some black friday shopping i know it's been a couple weeks since then uh but i'm probably just gonna wait until after the holidays or at least after um christmas and then kind of do a pickup video after that just in case if somebody decides to gift me a game i can kind of add that into the into the pile and everything because I, I did enough quite a bit of shopping um for myself during black friday finding deals on games and uh, even getting new releases, I got a couple new releases day one of stuff that's been coming out the past two months. So yeah, I'll do a pickup video with all that. And if uh, you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until the next one, see ya.